What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing an NG Models August 2021 release. Without further ado, let's get started. Uh, now, I got this model from Diecast Airplane Store, and uh, I don't know why they shipped it in a pretty big box. Uh, this is a wide body model, but um, still, nonetheless, I don't know why they would ship it in such a big box when you could... Uh, pay less for more comfy packaging, but uh, here we have a lot of paper and then yeah here for the box over there here. We have the model uh, Let's get it out of the bubble wrap Okay now for those of you wondering this is as you guys can see this is the uh, NG models uh, Scandinavian SIS a 350 900 uh, now, the reason why I got this model is because SAS fly their A350s uh, to Newark. They fly their, they fly them from uh, Stockholm. Uh, they, they just started service from Stockholm. Uh, they do it a few times weekly. Uh, and daily, they do uh, Oslo, Gardermo, and, and uh, Copenhagen. So, yeah, that's why I got the model. But, uh, yeah, before we take a look at the model, let's take a look at the inside or outside of the box. So taking a look at the outside of the box, I'll actually, would this work better? Yeah. Okay, so taking a look at the outside of the box, uh, starting at the top, it says Airbus AC5900. Here we have uh, this little SAS. Uh, it says SAS very faintly on the top where it's silver. And uh, this is one of NG Models boxes where it transitions colors. So the top of the box is white and the bottom is more of a baby blue. And uh, yeah, so it says SAS in the silver, and then a little bit here it says in the baby blue SAS. And then here we have the clip out of the aircraft, and here we have um, the the flags. Now, uh, for those who don't know, on Scandinavian's aircraft, what ends up happening is they paint the flags of Norway, Sweden, and uh, Denmark because. Well, SAS, Scandinavian Airlines, it is a joint partnership between those three countries. So this is supposed to represent the Norwegian flag, this one's supposed to rep represent the Swedish flag, and this one's supposed to represent the Danish flag. But um, yeah, moving on to the bottom of the box, uh, here it says SAS, the registration which is Sierra Echo, Romeo, Sierra, Bravo, uh, NG models, 1 to 400 scale collectible models. And uh, on the side of the box, uh, it says Airbus AT5900. We have the clip out of the aircraft, registration, NG models. And then here on the transition side, it we have Airbus AT5900, SAS, and uh, NG models. But th this is something, um, I don't know why they would do this. The Scandinavian, here it says SAS, like Scandinavian. Half of it uh, dips over, the S and then the N at the end of Scandinavian. It dips over, which I mean, I don't know why you would do something like that. Uh, cause I don't really think it looks professional, but uh, that's just my opinion. Anywho, on the side of the box, you have the uh, SAS logo, Airbus type of aircraft, NG models, the scale collectible model during the transition. And here it says SAS uh, on the transition. And then on the uh, top of the box, uh, where it is silver, uh, it says Airbus AT5900, SAS, SERSB, NG models. And on the side, it's the same as the other side. And uh, yeah, looking at the back of the model, it's really uh, the same. It just says NG models, SAS. And then it says Scandinavian, we have the clip art of the aircraft, uh, NG model social media, the uh, flags, and of course all the warnings and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let's open the box. So uh, NG models really do tight, tightly package their, um, they really do tightly package their models, uh, especially the wide body ones. I mean, look at this, <laughs> this is a bit overkill, but uh, yeah. And uh, taking off the wrapping, it's standard NG models for their uh, international stuff, standard NG. And the problem with it being in foam, uh-oh, wait. Okay, okay, I thought it was broken, but it is not. Uh, problem with it, like I was about to say, the problem with it being in foam like this is it. the foam tends to have a uh, habit of clinging onto the model and then you end up breaking something, but... Uh, today, this is not the case, and uh, failing the model, everything looks sturdy, and uh, yeah, this is a, this looks to be a really good model, but uh, yeah, that being said, let's start with the detail segment. Starting off with the detail segment, for this model, we have Airbus's uh, new black cockpit paint scheme, 
Uh, now, I don't know why Air, uh, Airbus does this. They do it on their modern aircraft, which I can see why, but then when, whenever an airline updates their uh, like A319 or A320 or A321s, uh, they always add the black thing on the uh, cockpit windows, which I'm not gonna complain, but I just think it's a bit weird. But uh, yeah, below the cockpit windows, we have uh, the flags of Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, which is uh, SAS's home airline, and then we have the writing Hogbard Viking, which is the name of the aircraft. And here on the forward landing gear, we have RSB on the landing gear doors, Romeo Sierra Bravo, which is the last letters of this aircraft's registration. And uh, yeah, uh, continuing down the aircraft, we have the Starlines logo, L1 door, SAS's beautiful new gray titles, uh, we have an antenna. L2 door, we have the wings, which we'll talk about later, and no emergency exits for some reason, which in the 21st century, that kind of should be mandatory, but that's another story. And uh, yeah, moving on down the aircraft, we have the L3 doors, uh, antenna, uh, Wi-Fi hub slash HUD. Uh, we, once again, we have the Norway, uh, Sweden, and Denmark flags, uh, compressed, of course. The registration, which is S-E-R-S-B, or Sierra Echo Romeo Sierra Bravo. We have uh, an antenna and the L4 door. And of course, we have SAS's beautiful new tail and their beautiful new paint scheme. Uh, now, the only difference between uh, the... Let's get that paper out of the way. The only difference... Is that gonna... Okay. Uh, the only difference between uh, the left and the right side of the aircraft's fuselage is that there uh, is this one tiny cargo door, uh, but you're not really going to notice it on the model because, um, of course, it's on the lower side of the model. But there's really no difference between the left and right side fuselages. So now that we have taken a look at the fuselage, let's take a look at the wings of the aircraft. Taking a look at the wings of the aircraft, uh, and the engines in particular, the engines, NG models did a really good job with the fan blades. The fan blades are really, really nice. And on the engines, uh, on both of the engines, there is a uh, blue stripe and we have the same silver paint as on the fuselage of the aircraft. And of course it says in uh, grayer font, Scandinavian on it. Now this is, you'll see the same uh, on both engines of the A3. 50. Now, of course, unlike uh, Gemini, the wings on this A350 are level. Uh, I'll take the uh, the phone, uh, phone camera, whatever. I'll take it off to show you guys. As you guys can see, the wings are level as well as the ailerons. And of course, on the bottom of the wing on this SAS A350, this is on their left wing, of course, it says Sierra Echo Romeo Sierra Bravo or the registration. So now that we've taken a look at the wings, let's take a look at the bottom of the aircraft. Taking a look at the bottom of the aircraft, we have um, the forward landing gear, uh, this antenna, uh, we have the back landing gear, and here in the middle of the aircraft, it says Scandinavian in a darker gray font and we have the aircraft stand and uh there's not really much else to the bottom of the aircraft besides uh this uh writing here uh the writing on the aircraft and uh we have the blue on the bottom of the aircraft and the cargo door uh coming from uh the tail of the aircraft and on the wings of this model on the winglets of this model uh it's blue and it says sas which is akin to its real life counterpart and uh something that i've noticed is that on the uh tail of the aircraft there is a slight gap i don't know if you guys can see it there's a slight gap on the uh between the tail and the fuselage of the model uh i don't know if this is a mistake on ng's part or if it uh, was just built like that but uh yeah that does conclude the detail segment for this wonderful model I honestly do think that this SAS A350 is great value for your money because, I mean, you're getting a phenomenal mold from a phenomenal company with awesome box art. And, I mean, compared to the competition, that being an SAS A350 from Gemini Jets with their um, numerous problems and Phoenix models with their also numerous problems, I honestly do suggest getting uh, this model over the competition. But, uh, yeah, that being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so it's my videos. And comment down below what you guys think I should improve in my videos and what you got from NG Models August 2021 releases. Once again, thank you for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.